Hey, this is Joe at 718 Cyclery and Outdoors here in Brooklyn, New York. And today what we're gonna do is talk about some bike packing hacks. Five hacks that I've come up with um, that I've seen over and over again that I've used a ton. We've done about 10 to 15 trips a year since 2014, so I've been on the road a lot. And I've seen a lot of great, great stuff. Some of the things I came up with, a lot of these things I've seen used and I've kind of made my own. But here are five bike packing hacks that I can't do without. All right, the first hack I'm gonna talk about is a bit of a grill top for a stove. This was made out of a cupcake drying kind of uh, rack, which I'll show you here what it looks like in a second. I bought one and, I bought one and just kind of cut it down and hit it with a Dremel, and this looks kind of benign and not so exciting, but what it gets used for is this. As opposed to trying to balance your cooking thing on top of a stove, you can now do this. So uh, what this is great for is because when I've used this in the past, I've had a lot of uh, things spill in my lap, hot water, etc. So this is hack number one. I call it maybe a pocket rocket grill. Hack number two is a bit of a lock. And this comes from hip lock. And what I like to do is use this um, on our bike trips. And you know we get a lot of questions about should I bring a lock with me? And I always tell people, no, not really. This is a great lock because it's nice and light. You can run it through the rear, rear wheel of the bike and onto the frame. You know, when you're running into a store or something like that, it just keeps people honest. It's incredibly light, has a combo. They also make a keyed version, but when I looked at how small the key was, I was like, I'm gonna lose that already. So I have a nice combo here, and it's just a real simple lock. And again, you know, without this lock, what I always tell folks is like, there's seven billion people on this planet that can walk off with your bike. With this lock, you know, maybe it's down to two billion. But again, way better than nothing. Nice, there's steel in there. It's really solid. This is pretty much the configuration of using this guy when you jump into a store or even camping at night just to have your bike um, slightly secured. The third hack is what I'll call a long spoon. This one happens to be titanium, but yours doesn't have to be. What these are incredibly great for are getting to the bottom of these bags of food, right? With a small spoon, you're really gonna be digging around in there, so what was taught to me is that you would get a long spoon and really dig down. And again, having a long spoon doesn't, doesn't hurt uh, in short spoon kind of situations, but again, this one's titanium and nice and light. They're really meant to get to the bottom of things, and I've, I've used this since about 2014, and I haven't lost it, which is pretty amazing. Hack number four is called the click stand basically an articulated series of poles and it holds your bike up when you're loading it and unloading it. Um, I made a little Instagram reel over the summer about this that I'm going to show you in a second. That reel got 340,000 views so far, which for us is unbelievable. That's what we call viral here at 718. Anyway, let me show you that video here and then it'll show you how it works. Um, great, here's the video. So as you can see, pretty convenient and incredibly lightweight um, and folds up to nothing. So every time I'm pulling over, stopping for whatever, I'm getting out my click stand to kind of keep my bike securely um, upright. The fifth hack here are essentially ways to start a fire. I usually like to take four or five ways to start a fire and once we get into cold weather, it becomes a little more critical and cheating is allowed. You know, you can try to use a flint and rubs two sticks together in the summer and that's great but when you're camping and it's 25 degrees and you need a fire I like to bring along uh, some sheets so what these are these are essentially cotton balls in Vaseline or kind of coated in Vaseline and these things are incredible and let me show you an example these things are like little bombs uh, the petroleum Vaseline uh, jelly kind of coats it and allows it to burn and this lets it burns for a while and what it'll do is it'll help you um, get you know either a cold or not really cold but wet kindling and small things kind of started 
So these are very easy to make, a little messy to make, but once you make them, you just kind of store them away, and that's it. Even hard to blow out. Hey, you've watched till the end, that's pretty cool. I did promise you one bonus hack, and here it is. It's my camera harness, shoulder harness kind of thing. It makes you look like an absolute dork, but what it allows you to do is use your camera safely to take pictures while you're riding. So how it works is it comes over your shoulder, under your arm, over all the garments you're wearing. The camera's on a slide right here. So what you can do is you can just run this up as you're riding, take pictures, and just kind of let it go and slide it down. There's a, a bit of a clamp here, and that pushes the camera right on your hip. Once the camera's on your hip, it just kind of stays there while you're riding, incredibly secure. So again, I'm taking pictures with your phone while you're riding, you're getting orientation, whatever, and it's all kind of crazy and a little dangerous. Uh, this, again, you look like an absolute dork, um, but I take tons of great pictures while I'm riding. I'm able to use the camera that I want, and I'm able to kind of get it slid up in front, and then down again, and that's the bonus hack. And this is a thing I have used 50 to 75 trips. Uh, I don't go on a trip without it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you could. Maybe hit the notification button if you want to get notified when more movies come out. But uh, I really appreciate you watching, and thank you so much.